Information and communication technology holds tremendous promise for improving economic growth and the quality of life for many Pacific Island countries. The Pacific Ministerial Dialogue held today is a pathway to strengthen and create a shared outlook on the current state of the information and technology sector in the country and the region. Host Minister for the Ministerial Dialogue, Timothy Masiu, Minister for ICT, said the Ministerial Dialogue will enable countries to share dialogue on some of the issues faced by the sector today. They lack a lot of capacity in, in development of uh, their uh, uh, um, ICT. And of course, uh, in this world today, you have cyber issues. And, and we need to be, in, in the past week, need to be very, very um, uh, careful. We need to look after ourselves. And, uh, and so that is one of the reasons that why we are having this meeting here in Port Mosby. Deputy Chief Information Officer for the Vanuatu Prime Minister's Office, John Jack, in his speech addressing other Pacific delegates, talked about the Smart Islands, what it means to boost connectivity to unlock open Pacific potential between the island countries. Speaking to the media, Jack said ICT and the use of technical advancements, especially through the use of social media, is a huge advantage, especially during COVID-19 and now. I've seen during COVID, ICT connects people when we are in isolation. And therefore, this declaration will pave a way forward for us to foster development as well as develop our economies in the Pacific. And I'm so proud to be in Papua New Guinea today to uh, be part of the Pacific ICT Minister's uh, Dialogue meeting. And I believe that um, with this gathering of key people to make decisions on digital transformation and ICT, the Pacific is on its right path to development. The ministerial dialogues started today with four sessions where ministers from different countries in the Pacific Islands Forum Secretariat, including host country PNG, shared policy statements as well as shared presentations of their country's current outlook on the ICT sector. 